Alright guys, so I'm doing a review on my 350Z, it's a 2002 Nissan 350Z Fast and Furious Edition, it makes 860 to the wheels, which is 800 plus horsepower, it makes 764 foot-pound of torque, and yeah, it's a pretty nice daily, I wouldn't say sleeper because it's completely wide body and has rims on it. But I mean, I wouldn't really expect it to run as good as it runs. To be beating almost, to be almost beating a, a vet and beating one vet. So, and I think they were both fully built. One was two, new one wasn't. I think. But I beat the newer one and I didn't beat the older one, which is kind of not really sad because I wouldn't. I didn't think this car would actually run that good. So yeah, I really like it though. It's just nice and simple. And I rec I did a video right before this about a car. So. Yeah, it was in 1080p and it lagged a little bit. That's why I had to re-record it in 720. So that's why, yeah, that's why I had to record it. So because my laptop is shitty and you can't, all right, and you can't record high quality videos. So yeah, it should be a little bit better quality because I hired the quality up a little teeny bit. That so hopefully it doesn't lag though. I didn't hire it up too much so it would lag. Because that would be very depressing to have to, re -record, to have to record it over again for the third time. Just because I want to get a second video. That way I might have to record tomorrow. Mind you, I'm going to have to edit this video tonight. And it's already 10.36 and I have school tomorrow. I have to wake up at like 6. So, I'm going to try to make this video in like 10 minute video. So let me stop talking. But anyway, I hope y'all liking the um, outros and intros on my videos. I'm going to start editing and the thumbnails. And someone already commented about it, which I'm very happy about. I'm going to reply to this comment as soon as I stop recording this video. And yeah. So, it's okay. That was... Um, it's very nice. It has a carbon fiber hood on it. It has a nice wing. Wide body kit, obviously. Side skirts. You know. Dual tip exhaust. It has a nice front, mount, front mount intercooler in there. You can't really see. You still can't see it. But yeah. It's a pretty nice car. I tuned it to do like roll races. That way you won't spin tires that much. Cause people who, usually people who I race who tune the same exact cars as me, well not all, but all almost all besides one person always get loose traction. And I keep my traction and just keep traveling and traveling and traveling without topping out that much. Yet to tune your cars that way you still have traction. You still have topping. A lot of people just go for topping, which. Yeah, a lot of people do, which is not the best thing to do, but a lot of people just go for topping. Which you should try not to do. Don't be like one of those 9-year-olds that just go for topping. Or 11-year-olds or 12-year-olds that act like they're 9 and just go for topping. Start tuning your cars. Come on, it's worth it. Don't buy tunes neither, because you never know what you're buying. You could buy something and spend like 40 grand on it with upgrades, or even more. Or less. You know, it could be more though. And then you not you don't know how the car would run, so the run the car would run very shitty, cause it, to someone else is good, it feels good, but to you it's not gonna feel good. And there's sure there's people out there who make shitty tunes and sell them purposely, cause people have no life in this world. There's so much people to keep people in track and check whatever. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a 60 roll with this car. I'm gonna try to brake boost it. I don't brake boost usually, but whatever, why not? Don't try to break boost all cars because you might just end up doing a rolling burnout. I'm telling you right now. Like a thousand horsepower car. Like a thousand horsepower 2J. Don't. I mean, you could try, but sometimes it feels. So that'd be a break boost. You get a lot more boost because the boost is already built up. I'm actually not quite sure if this car is supercharged or supercharged, guys. And look at that reflection in the glass. Looks so realistic. But yeah, like I said, I don't I actually don't know if this car is supercharged or turbocharged because the boost goes up very fast, which means it could be a supercharger, which I don't really care because it runs pretty good for a supercharger. But if it's turbo, I'm down for turbo. But I'm down for both, as long as it brings a lot of boost. 90 pound boost feels crazy on this car, especially with the nice VQ35 that it comes with. VQs are very nice. Um, if y'all know what a VQ is, that's the engine that comes in the 350Zs, 370Zs, G35s, and G37s, and some other cars. I think uh, there's a uh, FX35 or 37, I think, or some shit like that. The little SUV looking one. That sounds very beautiful with a CVT in it, which sucks. But yeah, so the VQs are very. Thanks, Evil, for going that way. 
VQs are very nice. I would recommend them in real life and on games because they're very nice cars. I would actually get a G35 or G37 myself if I was old enough to, obviously, and I had money to. But yeah, look at this Tesla, guys. I have one built. It only makes like 500 cent horsepower, I think. I gotta be the one guy in the highway who just tweets this all day. I would love to do this in real life. Too. Alright, anyway, so we're gonna do another 60 roll. This car is very fast for how it looks. You would never really um, like think, imagine that this car would run as good as it runs. Like I said, I think I said in this video. Like I said, I recorded it twice. I don't remember what I said already. Anyway, I beat one vet, the newer vet, and then lost to the older vet. We were, it was a, it was three of us racing at one time. But I mean, I'll give the old vet the win. I mean, it's not a big deal. I didn't expect this car to run as good. That good, actually not as good. But yeah. So I'm going to upload this video and then do the editing. But anyway. So let's do a... You could do a 70 or a 60. Let's do a 60 because it's more than 60. That was not a six. That was like a fifty-eight. All right, that is really good. Sometimes, if I want like a nice torque and to play with the car a little bit, I will pop the clutch like that. But if you're gonna lose traction to your car, please, 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 always make sure your car is fast and has a lot of top end and torque. Because if you lose traction and the car like leaves you. You're not catching him unless you could gain that traction and then shoot off again and go for him. No homo. But yeah, if you could go for him, no homo again. Because if you have enough torque and after you finish spinning tires and you can still catch him, that's how you know your car's fast. Or his car is just a racer and very slow. So yeah. Car runs pretty good. To me, in my opinion, is very good. Still getting used to new gen a little bit, so my controls are not as good. I think I used to play better in GTA on last gen, but that's only because these controls feel a lot loose, like they loosened to me. So quick scoping is alright. I, I had a upload a quick scoping video before this, so I'll go check that out. I'm probably don't know when I'm going to delete it or whatever because the person requested for me to delete it as we were recording it. But I was like, nah, chill, bro. I got all this upload and then delete it. But We'll see what happens. If he asks me again, then I'll probably delete it. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna end this video in a little bit. I'll give you two more minutes, guys. Because I want to get this video edited and uploaded too. So, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed the outro on that video. Because I really did work hard on it. Well, actually, I didn't. But I did, kind of. And I think I'm just gonna take that outro and cut it. And then add it on to this video. Because I don't feel like editing it again. Because I'm lazy as hell. So, I can just basically throw the butt of that video like the outro of that video onto this which is just saving outros without having to make outro every time I upload a video which is kind of convenient but either way I gotta make the subscribe thing over every time to put the latest videos in there so that's like nothing kind of a big deal but then not a big deal because anybody gives a fuck so yeah that's what I'm gonna do with the la latest videos in there Maybe I'm gonna try to make annotations. I'm gonna try. I'm not never did annotations before to like so you can click the subscribe button at the end of the video and actually subscribes. It produces the subscribe um screen. And so you can click on the videos and it produces the latest videos. I'm gonna try guys, I'm sorry. I don't not really familiar with that, but I'm gonna really I'm really gonna try. So yeah. Look out for that. Look out for a lot better quality. I'm still shooting 720, but I'm gonna try to get the best that I can get for 720 until I get a better computer. So yeah. I mean, it's funny because I had a chance to get a better computer, which was an older map, like MacBook, but I didn't really want it because it was an old white one, and I was like, nah, bro. So I went with my Toshiba, right? Which I'm running Windows 10 on it right now, which is, I like, guess, a pretty good computer overall, besides for shooting in 1080p. But besides all of that, it's pretty good for me. I only have small problems with like my editor program kicking me out of it, but that's nothing big. That's probably the editor, not the computer. So, like I said, the computer's pretty good. So, I'm going to have a lot more videos uploaded. Let's do one more pull with this car. That way, I'm not just talking the whole video and there's no car doing anything, really. But it's kind of an update and review at the same time. So, it's going to be 800 plus horsepower 
wide body 350Z review and update. That's what it's gonna be. So, yeah, guys, look forward for a lot, or just a lot better quality, I guess you could say. A lot better editing because I never used to edit as I repeat myself over and over. So, we could do a you could do a 60 pull and then a 70, and then I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna pop this clutch this run. Like I said, if you lose traction, make sure you have power to catch him, because I usually do. So that's why I do that sometimes. If I, if I think I can beat the car, then I'll pop the clutch, because I know if I spin, I still, I'm gonna end up catching him. Look how I, ca I caught this car. It's an easy right here. That's a Ferrari, I already know. Yeah, it is. I'm surprised I didn't hit that. Oh, dang, that was the worst hit ever. I caught instant stop. I would have died in real life completely. I did not think I was gonna. I thought I was gonna hit the first blue car, and I, once I realized I didn't hit it, and I would not stop because I think my brake pressure turned down, which is very sad. Once I realized I didn't hit it, I was like, "Wait, what?" And I just lost my mind. Like I just kept going. But I'm gonna turn the brake pressure up a little bit more. Could be how my controller set up. I'm not sure, but it was not trying to stop. It was like. Just, I don't know, it felt so realistic just a while ago, like it was just gliding, it would not stop. That was a little first gear pull for y'all. The gears are tuned very funny, so I know people are probably thinking about that as you watch this video, if y'all play Forza. So yeah, y'all could always add me at PStacks FTW on Xbox One and 360, but I'm never on 360. So yeah, I'd rather you add me on Xbox One. So yeah. I live in Connecticut, which is the tri-state area. It's 10:46 p.m., so that's the time zone. That that's the time it is over here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do a little pull again, aren't we? Let's do a 70 pull, guys. No clutch pop, just cause the. The higher speeds, the better for some people because you lose less traction some, most of the time. Unless your car is crazy torquey, like a 2J. And you also um, build your boost quicker, like better. Like, see, I'm running vacuum, less vacuum. The less vacuum, negative boost, you see how it says negative? That's vacuum. That means I'm running on vacuum pressure. So, if you get that to go past zero and go back up positive, that's boost. So, you want to keep it as close as you can. That's why I like to run a little higher speeds, but yeah. So I'm running a 70, that's four pounds of, um, yeah, of vacuum. Not exactly sure if they call it pounds, but I would think so because boost is pounds. But yeah, so I'm going to do a 70, like I said, right? Uh, so yeah, let's vacuum it, and then let's get that. Gets a little teeny bit of wheel spin, as you can see, the RPM move kind of weird, and you can hear it a little bit. So yeah. You just got to kind of control it. I mean, it's not a big... Like you don't feel it like crazy a lot, especially since especially since it's wide body. No comment for that. I did, I don't know how I did not see that thing. I really do not know how I did not see that. I really wow. Okay. Just know, guys, that wasn't a good accident. Either. But yeah, like what I said, it's a pretty good car. You want to lose traction when you're doing zero? I mean, seventy four. It's pretty easy to control because it's wide body, so you know it has good traction. Traction is right there; it's not like crazy hard to control it, like a crazy 2J or something, or some RVs. I don't know what I just did. I just spun the hell out of my clutch and missed that whole dude. Sorry, car. I drive horrible. I'm sorry, guys. Not horrible. Cause I know people who drive worse. I mean, you can't even drive manual clutch, but I drive horrible to me because I used to drive better. I think. In my opinion, I used to. But with the steering wheel, I drive better. And of course, it feels a lot better. It's more realistic. But like I was saying, this is a 14-minute video. And I wanted it to only be 10. So I'm going to end it right here, guys. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. This is 2002 Nissan 350Z Fast and Furious version. And in Forza Horizon 2 on Xbox One. My gamer tag is PSAXFTW. That's all caps. PSAXFTW. Just like PSAX Gaming. It's spelled the same way. FTW. For the win. Which is just FTW. And y'all can send me a, um, a friend request or whatever, I'll add y'all back and then we can play together one day. And maybe I'll do a video on it. So, alright guys.
Get your cup, my boot up.